Well, you decided to join us, eh, Padre? In the name of God, El Diablo, I tell you these men must not be slaughtered. Save it for some other day. Go say your Ave Marias and get out. Think it over, Diablo. You already have many crimes against your conscience. I want you to watch this. Then go to Santa Ana and say El Diablo doesn't break a promise. And by the way, Padre, I promise you five more clients that the people around here forget to pay up again. All right, this way. Come on. That stage must have got laws. No one would come here if they knew what they were doing. That's for sure. Excuse me. We got a sick person in the coach. Could you tell me where I could find a doctor? <laughs> we're looking for one, too. The man that used to be here moved away. You mean there isn't one anywhere around? 20 miles from here, over the border. If you get there alive. <sighs> what a shame, huh? The man says another 20 miles till we find a doctor, Lola. Oh. We better stop right here in that case. Mm -hmm. Virginia would never make it. Afternoon, miss. Excuse me, but we're looking for a hotel. That's mine, miss, right across the street. No, I'm sorry. There are no rooms left. They're all full. Come on, Joe. Come on. We don't need your kind around here, miss. We have enough of our own trouble. But Virginia's very sick. What? Why, every single one of you is sick, leading the evil life you do. What's going to happen to Virginia? Very well, stay. But be sure you leave by tomorrow. Come along, ladies. <laughs> I can put you up, miss. Hey, miss. 
The name's Hutter. This is my place. A few years ago, it was well known hereabouts. But things aren't as lively as they once were. Hmm? Never seem to get any entertainment. How much are your rooms? Oh, nothing. Not a cent. If your troop will put on a show for us tonight. All right. But we need a doctor. Could you send someone over to get him? Well, miss. No one has dared set foot outside of Santa Ana for quite a long time now. But you know, there is someone here in town who knows all kinds of that medicine stuff. Well, is he a doctor? He's studying to be a doctor, and he's been going to medical school. Will you go and get him for us? Sure, I can run fast. Well, what are we doing, Lola? We're stopping. All right, let's go up. It's a nice big room on the second floor. We're stopping here for a while. Oh, come on, we're getting out now. Go slow, Jeannie. Lean on us. Get me a glass of water. Louise. That's enough for now. Don't give her a drop to drink, please. Wet her lips only. What's the matter with her, Doctor? It's an easy diagnosis, malaria. Pretty bad case of it. She'll be bedridden for a while. I'll be back soon. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, Rod, how is she? Did you kill her or not? <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about her. She'll be all right. I think it's about time you got on <laughs> home, huh? Go on. Go on. Rod. Rose, what are you doing in town this time of day? I would never have guessed it. And I was wrong. Guessed what? Well, that you ran off like a flash to pay a visit to one of those showgirls. The one in there. You know who I mean. But a doctor has patience, Rose, and it doesn't matter what their profession is or what their sex is. But you're not an MD yet. Why did you visit her? You don't have to remind me, Rose. I know I'm not. You know better than anyone why. My father has always wanted to help you, and you wouldn't hear of it. I'm a mean man just because of that? Because of that? And because you haven't kissed me once. How many times have I told you, Rose, that I don't want you going into town by yourself? Do you think a governess would have helped me against El Diablo? Maybe not, but it's foolish taking any sort of chance with that bandit around here. Agree? Your father's right, Rose. Really? Well, for your information, I went into town to pick up Rod, and guess what it was I found him doing? Now, never mind. Let's have something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. You're staying with us, Rod. Thank you, sir. I'd like to. Rod was perfectly right. Doctors must take care of anyone who needs care, that is, from a clinical point of view. You're really trying to get me mad, aren't you? I think you got together beforehand, and I don't like it. Sweet, isn't she? Same way as her mother. You know what? If I were you, my boy, I'd think it over more than once before marrying the girl. I'll think it over at least twice, yes, sir. Oh, how much did you hand over to El Diablo last month? Not much, about 20,000. He wanted a lot more, but we talked and managed to convince him to settle for a part. That means new victims. Unless they pay the rest, Santa Ana's in trouble again. Ladies and gentlemen and others, I'm happy this evening to present to you a great artist, our favorite, Lola Gay. You know me, and in all the world, but 
We didn't need to come here to know those girls are miserable terrible. sinners. Satan is in all of them, in their souls and in their shameless bodies, too, oh, Lord of God. Mr. Satan's no fool. <laughs> She's a disgrace. We must get those huffies out of here. Oh, please, will you leave us alone? Let us enjoy the grace of God. This is no place for ladies of breeding. the star of the show, miss? Us boys love music. Go ahead, sing. I don't give any performances unless I hear the word please. No, Paco. Will you kindly sing for us? Please? All right. Just a second. My thanks to you. I just don't understand, Helen. What's wrong with the men in Santa Ana? There just has to be a reason. Rod will tell you someday. Never mind, Rod. That little boy, Pablito, he's worth something. Looks like he's the only one. Afternoon, Rod. Afternoon. Hello, Rod. How's the patient? Doing all right? No change yet.
pulse is a lot better now. That's fine. But she still needs time, you know. What do we do when she asks for something to drink? Quinine's all she gets. Only a little bit, though. All right. Well, bad day for you. Rod, I want to know something. Why are the men in Santa Ana such cowards? You can stop the bandits. You can. I mean it. Believe me, if you all got together... We have been together, Lola, in fear. And for years. It's a long story and not a very pleasant one. If you think El Diablo is just a man, you're very wrong. He's a bloodthirsty savage. And we're in the palm of his hand because he keeps certain hostages up at his ranch. If one of us in town tried to make a move, he'd kill them all, every one. I hope you understand now. And your family? No. But they, too, have been bled dry by El Diablo and the tribute he makes everyone pay. That's why I was never able to get on with my studies. He's got men there, young girls, babies. But haven't you ever tried to free all those men? You could get El Diablo away? When he moves, he leaves guards there. Quite a few of them. Get El Diablo away, attack the ranch, and destroy his gang of outlaws. <laughs> no. We've all thought of it, Lola, that it can't be done. El Diablo's got the strong hand and he's playing it. We have to wait. About five months back, we tried to rebel a little. It wound up a disaster. It was after that that El Diablo took all the hostages away. Bye, Lola. Miss Lola. What do you want? My boss would like to meet you. He invite you to his ranch. And if I decide not to accept? <laughs> the others would come up and persuade you. Lola. Don't worry, I'll come back soon. Has Rod come yet? No, not yet. Lola, I'm going with you. No, you weren't invited.
Thank you, Rose. Thanks, Pablito. Still angry? I'm not mad, you know that. I have some information about a certain young lady friend of yours called Lola, where she was just seen on her way to El Diablo's ranch. Kidnapped her? No, my dear. She went away just as free as you please on her own horse. And there are quite a few witnesses to that. And that's what you came to tell me. What about you? What do you have to tell me? Only that Virginia Blake is the one I'm taking care of, not the immortal soul of Miss Lola Gay. Rod! I'm so happy you could accept my invitation. I welcome you here under my real name, Larry Stern. Larry Stern? That surprise you, Miss Lola? It's true in Santa Ana, I'm pretty well known as El Diablo. But just look at me. Now, do I look to you like the devil? You know, the devil appears in a different form to all of us. <laughs> Listen, Lola, it's not at all true what they say about me. Look how many people I give work to. You mean the hostages of Santa Ana? Hostage is a pretty big word. Well, then, for instance, they can leave whenever they please. When I want them to, yes. Come in. Sit down. I imagine, Lola, that you're wondering what it is that I did to make people call me El Diablo. At one time, I had great plans for Santa Ana. What plans? Or a railway, for example, going all the way to the border. But nobody wanted to sell me any of his land. So I was forced to appropriate it. And what would you have given in exchange for the people's land? If you didn't hear, a railroad. Of which you would be the owner and boss, right? That sounds like a pretty rotten deal. I mean, for Santa Ana. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart girl, Lola. Perfect for me. I have a deal I'd like to make. If it's one like the railroad, I'm not interested. <laughs> Miss Lola, why don't you be my guest here at the ranch for a few days? Nice of you, but I can't. I must take care of my friend. I promised. When I want something, I believe in taking it. That's not the best way, you know. Do you know what could happen to you, Lola? Stay with me. This is all for us. I'll make you rich. I'm not for sale. You know, don't you? I could have you killed. You're the strongest. If you want, you can hold me prisoner like the others. But if you really treat me nice, you'll get a lot more. I want you. My way or yours, as long as I get you. Let's give it a little time. Why don't you come to the saloon and see me? 
I'll dance just for you. Ah. How do I know you'll be there? You're the boss. If I should run away, you'd sure know where to find me. We'll drink to that. I talk to you? Is it about Virginia? Has her fever gone down? I don't know if it has or not. I didn't come here to talk about her. Well, what else could we have to talk about, Lola? You sound angry. Have I done something to you? To me, not at all. You did something to yourself. You heard I went to see El Diablo. Is that what it is? I just heard that you went up there of your own free will. Nothing else. But I didn't, Rod. The truth is, I was taken away by half his gang. Is that my own free will? Well, Diablo's not the type to let anyone leave his ranch once he's there. And you got away. And that's enough to condemn me. I've met so many beasts like this El Diablo. They're any place. Even in my home when I was only five years old, I'll always remember. And just like El Diablo, he killed my whole family. I'm the only one left. You have to fight to protect whatever you want. That's why I left with Paco. I'm sorry, Lola. I had to see all his guards and where the prisoners are kept. Plus, the road to the ranch. And most important... What's that? I persuaded El Diablo to come to the saloon with his men. I just keep him occupied while you... You want them to murder all the hostages? Please, let me finish. What you could do is take him prisoner, then exchange El Diablo for the hostages. Then El Diablo, the very next day after he was freed, he'd come back to Santa Ana and destroy it. No, it's a crazy idea. Nobody here would buy it. Oh, what, what kind of men are in this town? Come with me, you'll see for yourself. Santa Ana. All of them die as very young men. There's a boy out there, his name is Bill. My brother. I've started thinking. Maybe he's the lucky one.
Take me back. I don't want to see any more. That's the whole setup, gentlemen, in a nutshell. This is the moment we've been waiting for. If Rogers could bring in all his ranch hands, we'd have an army. Wait a minute, Rod. This plan won't work. Anyway, up till now, El Diablo's left me alone. I pay him what he asks. But it seems to me we could all be murdered this way. It'd be a foolish risk for nothing. Well, I think Rogers is perfectly right. El Diablo knows whatever's going on. You'll be pretty sure he's safe before he comes to the saloon. If we attack him, it means giving up all the townspeople he's got there. No. Count me out. Well, then, I guess there's nothing more to say. Sorry to have made you waste so much time. So long. What's the matter with Rod today? Never seen him like that before. We wouldn't get halfway there without the U.S. cavalry. El Diablo's got too much strength. Of course, it'd be stupid. I see it now. What? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. Rod! Hey, Rod! Don't be so all fired hasty. Now listen here. I don't know what you've been figuring in that head of yours, but you seem pretty sure of yourself. I don't trust the rest of them, so that means it's just me and you. So I'll see you at the saloon tonight with all of my men. We'll give El Diablo an evening he'll never forget. And then, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, I guess I misjudged you. I'm sorry. See you tonight. So long. You look marvelous. Well, I feel it. I spoke to Rod just now. He told me some very good news. What news? I can't tell anyone. Honestly, I told Rod that I wouldn't. Not even us? Virginia! It's wonderful to hear your voice. I'm feeling so much better now. And I feel divine. I'll sing tonight like I never sang before. All right, let's start the show. What's the matter, Lola? Why did you stop dancing? Because I won't perform for such a small group. I like the seats filled. Tell me, where are your other men? I'm afraid the house won't be any bigger than this. All my men are on duty. They've got to keep their eyes peeled tonight. I gave them orders not to move. But I thought... That I didn't catch on? My dear, you've underestimated me. <laughs> Did someone say you could come inside? No! <laughs> didn't have your guns around. I wonder how strong you'd really look. No guns now. And your guardian angels? Oh, they'll be good little boys now, I promise you. <coughs> Ah! <laughs> 
That's enough. This was supposed to be a party. Give me that. I'm afraid the fun's over, Art, but only for tonight. You can be sure we'll meet again. Whenever you say. What are you doing out here at this hour, Pablito? I was sent to warn you. Mr. Rogers, you're supposed to stop. What do you mean? What happened? Rod told me to look for you and tell you. Turn back. You're not supposed to go to Santa Ana because El Diablo's gone. All right, thanks. Now get back home. We turn back. Come on! That's better. If this keeps on, pretty soon I'll be unemployed, I guess. Well, in that case, I just have to pretend. <laughs> Not with me. You pretended with Lola and all the others. Virginia, how long were you walking around with all that fever and pain? Two weeks, I suppose. I didn't want to hurt the performer. You silly fool. You should have told us right away, you know. Tomorrow. Thanks, Rod. Bye. Those bandits are finally gone, thank goodness. Don't worry about it, Helen. You'll be able to go soon, too. I promise you. You know, Lola used to be happy before... I know, Helen. But unfortunately, things don't always go the way they should, do they? So what? That's not doing us any good. The truth is, we got too excited by what we were doing, and we underestimated El Diablo. Mr. Rogers, there's a bandit with a name he deserves. Listen to me, son. Our only hope now is in the governor. As a matter of fact, I received a message this morning from the capital. He's sending us some troops, and they should be here within two weeks at the most. Soldiers? If El Diablo hears about this, he'll massacre all of us before they can even get here. Yes, afraid so, my boy. Oh, I better get out of here fast. Here comes the lady, El Diablo. Rose, please, treat him gently. He's my future son-in-law. What is it, Rose? Let's talk for a minute, Rod.
The whole town's laughing at me. Fighting that way for a cheap dancing girl. It's not the way it was. I was fighting for myself. But who gave you the spunk to fight El Diablo? Why don't you admit it? She did. I think it's better for a woman to encourage a man instead of holding him back. Then I have one thing to ask you. What do you intend doing about our marriage? Not rush. That's all. Why don't you tell me what happened? Do you love her? No, of course not. Only we'd better wait a while. Rod Strader, I can read you like an open book. I'll see you home. No, thanks just the same. Well, take some time and think it over, but not too long. I'm not going to wait around forever. Hey! Give him some water. We came because Rose said she heard some shooting. 
You're a lucky fella, Rod. Was it El Diablo? Paco and two others. I killed them over, over the hill. We've got to get them buried. We've got to do it right away before, before El Diablo finds out. The three of you, you bury them. Hurry. Remember, don't leave any traces and come back as soon as you're finished. Rod, I'm so sorry. This is neither the time nor the place. Let's get moving. Come on. Yes, we better. Well, we found two. Let's go look for the other one. Rod Strader, the good doctor. I knew it. Watch out for the doctor. He's too quick. Go. Go get all the prisoners together. Looks like they're going to try something in Santa Ana. They'll see what it means when all Diablo gets angry. Come on. Won't you stay with us for a little while, please? It'll do you so much good. I'll get you in big trouble, Rose. It's the first place he's going to look for me. Paco was his second man, you see. He's going to be real angry. My men haven't come back yet. Something must have happened out there. I sent Peters out just now. What could have happened then? I've got to get out of here. You're in danger every minute. Please, Rod, no. going to Rod's house. Whatever it is, it's happened. It's something terrible. What a monster. What made us come to this place? I just can't help it. I've it got to do any go good if you do. He won't listen. He's not a man. He's a beast. But what does he want from Santa Ana? Get out there! Go on now! Move on! Oh. Oh. I just keep those legs going, see? Come on. Move! Oh. I'm looking for your son. I don't know where he is, really. Where is he hidden? Come on, talk. Right now. Oh. Oh. I don't know where he is, I swear. You don't, know, eh? Well, in that case, I'll just have to refresh your memory. Go on, time up. No, please. No, no, please leave him alone. I'm 
asking you for the last time, where's your son, old man? I don't know, I don't know. Go on. Chasing Paco. They were Roger's men. Roger, so he's trying to make things rough too, eh? I suppose we'll just have to pay him a visit. The rest of you, don't worry, I'll be back soon. I haven't finished with you yet. Come on. Don't know. Isn't this just about enough? And here you stand. Why don't you defend your homes and defend your families? This little boy had the courage to do what none of you dared do. He gave every man here a lesson in courage. You're not worthy of calling yourselves men. You are all cowards. You've got a job to protect your families. And here this little boy lost his life. How much is it worth? El Diablo will be back soon, but I know his hideout will take him by surprise. And the prisoners? That's just what I'm talking about. Maybe they're waiting for you and wondering why the people of Santa Ana have abandoned them. I'm going to free them. Lola's right. Let's do this once and for all. We're all with you, Lola. Let's get our guns and ammunition and free the hostages. That's right, yes. folks. We've already waited long enough. Yeah, this let's go. Be done. Come on. Now, come on. You come with me. The rest stay here and protect the town. All of you, come on. Roger's out here quick. Rogers, El Diablo's on his way over here. What is it? They're coming to get you, Rod. There was a massacre. He seems to have gone crazy. He'll destroy Santa Ana. Miss Lola's gotten all the men together, and they're on their way to Diablo's ranch to free the prisoners. I'll go help her. You hold them off here as long as you can. All right, leave it to us. We'll take care of him. Be waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
trap. Hurry up. Back to the ranch. Come on.
tonight to see the show. Yay! I don't need this anymore, Padre. Oh. We'll all be there tonight, right, Mr. Brown? God willing, yes. Hooray, everyone. Listen to me. Tonight the drinks are on the house. Hooray, And Lola's going to be singing for us only. <laughs> Let it rest now. you got the whole night to have fun. Hooray, my Lola!
I want to say thanks. From now on, friends, tomorrow is a good day for Santa Ana. Actually, every day is a good day. It's a miracle you made for yourselves since you found yourselves again. Well, that's yeah. all I want to say. Thank you. Lola, I'd like to offer my apologies. I've learned one thing from all this. No one has the right to judge anyone else. My thanks. Everybody. Now, if you'll just wait, we have a little surprise for you. Slim? Of course. A minute. I can't get it open. Get your coat, Lola. Oh. Ah, the treasure of Larry Stern, or El Diablo. It's from his robberies, but in my opinion, it should all belong to you. One part of it should rightfully go to the Padre to rebuild his church. I wonder if there isn't still a way. You know what I mean, I think. A way for us to understand. I'm sure it can... I'm sorry, what were you saying? Stay here with us, Lola! I want to thank you, friends, but... But... You've all been so kind. Tomorrow, I have to go away. I have to go on with my work, and so do the other girls. You heard that, didn't you? She's leaving. If we... we could begin a new life tomorrow. We could even move to another place. To Los Angeles. You could go on studying medicine. Oh, it sounds like a dream, Rod. to apologize to you, Lola. Why should you? Because I'm the only one here who hasn't apologized to you yet.
Slim. Hey, Slim. What is it, Lola? Stop here. All right. Slim? 